Okay. Hello everyone, this is Harless58 signing on to give you guys a quick review of a neat little accessory that I got in the mail the other day. Um, well, as you guys can see, this is the Galaxy Nexus. This is the Verizon uh, version. And this is a PS3 DualShock controller equipped with a game clip. It's a neat little device. It wraps around the DualShock controller, as you can see, and uh, gives you... You know, I'll show you in a second, but yeah. So it allows you to connect your device directly to it. Sorry, give me a second. Bear with me. I don't have a stand for this camera that I'm recording on. I'm doing this by hand, so I'm sorry if it's coming out a little blurry. Okay, so yeah. So now you have an essential uh, mobile game gaming system with um, better controls. As you know, Android, sometimes touch controls can be a little... Eh. So, allows you to connect it and you can play games with this. Now, out the box, it doesn't really work like that. All this, all this clip is is just a clip that allows you to connect it, and it looks cool. But there are certain things that you'll need. So, put in my password. Can't let you guys see that. Not like you guys are gonna get my phone anyways. Um, so I do have it in landscape mode. If you guys are wondering what app I'm using to do this, it's called um, what is it? Orientation. Oh, let me show it to you. Uh, it's rotate. It's like rotate uh, oriented. I can't remember the exact name. It says rotate there, but that's not the full name. But you can go to the Play Store and look for it, and it forces your phone to go in the landscape. Right. So that's besides the point. So what you will need if you want this to work to the best um, with all games, you're going to need the Success Controller app. It's really cool. I've had this app for a while, but um, I didn't have the game clip until recently. I'm sorry. Give me a second. This isn't auto focusing okay there we go sorry so yeah so what you want to do is you're gonna have to pair this to the computer man um, to the controller manually uh, I already did that but um, the six axis uh, app they give you a detail you know run through what exactly you need to do so I'm just gonna hit start right now Bluetooth will be disabled while you just continue yes alrighty so it says listening for controllers and I have to do is just hit this button on the PS3 controller do a shot controller and it's connected and it gives you a neat little vibration to let you know that it's connected to nice um, alright so there's a couple ways you, you can use this the coolest one to me is this way right here though because it's hassle free preferences you go to gamepad settings right it says enable gamepad Android will see connected controllers as native gamepads. I have that check marked because you know, um, I believe it's on, I don't know if it's Ice Cream Sandwich on up or if it was on a Honeycomb on up where you can connect controllers um, via USB to tablets and phones. Well, if it was Honeycomb on, on up, then it would be tablets and then it progressively made its way to phones. And so that's what I have check marked. So since I have that check marked, I can close menus by hitting circle I can hit a home right here I can just change home screens by just using the controller which is pretty cool and since I have it in landscape mode it really helps out you know with that um, app so I'm gonna go show you a game that um, works natively out of the uh, forgive me for the seems like it's blurry on the screen I'm sorry for that let's go to dead trigger this works natively out of the box because it's a Tegra 3 game um, pretty much all, not all Tegra 3, but if you download Tegra Zone, it will show you which um, games work with game pads, which is pretty cool. So, okay. It's going to be kind of difficult for me to show you how to play it while I'm holding this, so bear with me. But just to show you, you know, give you guys proof that it works if you guys are wondering. forward if I shoot with this button it shoots if I want to aim with that button I aim it does all of those things it's pretty cool uh, I can do that I can change the I can do that like that pretty neat um, let me get out of here 
I don't know how to. I've never actually had to pause it before because I've always just, you know, kind of played. Oh, hit start, duh. That makes sense. Exit. Um, like I said, this game um, works with the controller. Shadow Gun, which is beautiful, works with the controller out of the box as well. Mass, not Mass Effect, but um, no, they don't. I'm sorry. Um, I believe Sonic does as well. But if you go to Tagger Zone, all of their game, or like I said, most of their games work with the gamepad out of the box, which is cool. So you don't have to worry about other things. But now if you get something like, like uh, Game Loft games, which are still pretty good. They have really good graphics, but they don't work natively with the gamepad. So what you have to do is, you go into the 6-axis uh, controller. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then what you have right here are touch profiles. And you can enable them. So I have mine enabled as Spider Man and Racing. So I'll go to Spider Man and show you guys. Actually, I should go to Racing. Racing is a bit easier. Okay, so that's enabled, right? So I go here, I hit that. Scroll over, go to my games, and I'll go to Asphalt 7. And Asphalt 7, I didn't, I mean, I don't do review of games, but this is a really well put together game. I give my hats off goes to um, Game Off. What I've been wanting for the longest is cloud syncing across, you know, my Android devices. So if I'm playing on one of my phones and I want to play on another one, I don't have to create a whole other profile and start from scratch. What this does is um, this game uses cloud syncing, so it syncs to my game off account. So no matter what device I'm on, if I'm on my Nexus 7 or if I'm on this or if I'm on my, girl, my girl's phone, as long as I log in, it'll sync all of that. It'll sync my actions with that automatically. So all my money, all my trophies, all my cars are synced across the cloud. Um, that trigger does it as well. Spider-Man doesn't do it. I don't know. Um, well, I have to look into that, but only a few games actually do it, and I think that it's really cool that turn this volume down. Sorry, I think that it's really cool that they do that, and my hat goes off to them. And I just want that to be the standard across all Android games, especially with Ouya coming out. Like, if you guys don't know what Ouya is, uh, Google it O U Y A, and you'll see. So I think that that would definitely help instead of always having to start from scratch. So anyway, so let's just go to Quick Play. Whatever, start. I mean, select. I'm sorry. It's hard to do this when you're looking through the camera. A lot easier when you're just looking at the screen. Select. Continue. No thanks. Okay. A game that I really wish that did this is Real um, Racing by um, EA Games. Beautiful graphics. Beautiful. But for some reason, if I'm a certain. You know, if I've like won a lot of from a certain percentage along the game, it'll lose my stats, and that sucks. And that's just regular. That's like if I play today, and then two hours later, if I play right now, and then two hours later, I try to log on, it'll lose my stats. So that sucks. So, show you. It automatically goes. That's the way the um, game works. And then I can control it with this. If I want like, to use my mouse, I'll hit the X button. I want to break, hit R2, sorry. Okay, so yeah, so you guys get that. Yeah, and then I hit that, that um, brings the pause button, so. Yeah, so quick um, review of this, it's called Game Clip. It's relatively sturdy. Um, he has a, a test that shows, you know, how sturdy it is. It works great, nice little thing so this paired with the six axis controller app as well as the yeah the six axis controller app and with the rotation um app i'll have it the description in the link it really gives you know a great gaming experience on android and it's you know very mobile you can put this i don't know if you'll be able to fit the game flip in your pocket but you know a backpack you're waiting in between classes or you're waiting at something whip it out and just start playing so yeah so it's harley's 58 signing off hope this you know review helps you guys and you know you guys might want to check it out see you later so yeah sorry i forgot to mention the developer for this is um ryan french uh shout out to him um 
He's the one that I developed the game clip. I am told uh, that's who I ordered and got this from. And um, yeah, so apart from that, he's also supposed to be developing one for seven inch tablets, such as the uh, Nexus 7. Now the Galaxy Nexus is not a Tegra 3 device. You can play some Tegra uh, games on there if they're made for it, but it's not a Tegra 3 device. So it, the graphics are not going to be as good, such as you know, on the um, the neck on the Nexus 7. The graphics on here are <laughs> sick, and you know it's a 720p screen. So he's supposed to be developing a game clip to work for seven-inch tablets, and he's supposed to be accepting pre-orders relatively soon. So once he gets that, I will be buying that and I will be reviewing it because I can only imagine what that's going to be like. Because uh, you know I'm finding myself playing more games on my phone now since I have the game clip. So once he makes one for the Nexus 7. That's going to be ridiculously sick. So shout out to Ryan French and the folks over at Game Clip LLC. And um, yeah, so this is Harless58 signing out. Hope you guys, you know, like the review. Uh, have any questions or comments about the device? Just hit me up in the comment section later. I'm sorry. One more thing that I forgot to mention in case you guys were wondering. Yes, you can pair this controller using this to the Nexus 7 to the Galaxy Nexus, well, I'm sorry, using this clip, it would only be the Galaxy Nexus, not this. Let me get this out of the frame. You can pair it without getting the Six Nexus controller app. Um, you can pair it through wire by just getting one of these. Um, you need this cable, it's called the OTG cable. Uh, you plug this end into the bottom of the Nex uh, Galaxy Nexus. You plug this end in and then you can connect this to the controller. Um, game clip does offer this version I already had these uh, clips before I bought this so I didn't need it but they do offer a wired version and they have something you know tucked up under here to keep the wires away and make it look nice and neat but um, you know I've always thought the wireless profiles are a lot cooler you know and less hassle but yes you can connect it with the cable if that's the route you want to go and it would be cheaper because then you don't have to pay for the uh, the six axis controller app which is like two dollars so but like I said, for the ease of use and for the hassle, you know, I choose to use six, six, six axis controller app. So, yeah. Okay, so that's the last thing. I'll see you guys later.